multiply this last? Can you convert fractions, decimals, and percents? Yeah, that's what we're doing. Four point seven. All right, here we go. Fractions, decimals, and percents are all what class? So they're the same thing, right? Fractions, decimals, and percents are all the same thing. Ambo, you can stop right now. Just pay attention if you want, okay? All right, class. How do you convert from a fraction to a decimal? Say again. I need everybody. You divide. So if I have one half, I simply do the division problem to get my decimal, right? Okay. Class. How do you convert from a decimal to a fraction? So say this decimal. Five tenths. But is our final answer one half? Why? What did we have to do? Reduce. We good? Okay, so you got your first two, yes? All right, number four. The third one here is percent to fraction, yes? Before I ask you the process, percents are based on 100% of what number? Say again? One. Okay, so in order to go from a percent to fraction, we, on the count of three, one, two, three. Read percents as per 100. So please read this percent, go. And what does per mean? So if we have a fraction bar, so if we have 50 with a fraction bar 100, we could simply just reduce that to 1 over 2, right? So what if I have 23%? How would you read that? So 23 fraction bar 100, is that my, is that my fraction? Yes. Moving on. Fraction to percent. Process is what? Go. So we know a fraction is nothing more than what kind of problem? So we make our division problem, right? And we got a final answer of 5 tenths, yes? But then we said in order to get to a percent, we have to multiply by, and really, instead of multiplying by 100, since we know 100 to the power of 10, what do we do? What's the easier? When you're multiplying, which way do you do bunny hops? How many spots? Two, good job, let's keep going. Next one, percent to decimal. Percent to decimal, what's the process in the count of three? One, two, three. Divide the percent by 100, which is really just two bunny hops to the left. Because if I say 50%, you guys don't say 50%, you say 50. And we know per means, which we know is a division problem, right? So you could do 50 divided by 100, right? Or you could just do two bunny hops to the left since 100 is a power of 10, yes? You like that way better? Okay, how about the last one? Decimal to percent. Process in the count of three. One, two, three. So if I have a decimal of 0.5 and I have to multiply it by 100, that's the same as doing what? Two bunny hops to the, again, two bunny hops to the right, right? When you multiply, you go to the, when you divide by a power of 10, your bunny hops are to the, we good?